Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, we should have enough room here. 4x squared plus 7x to the third y squared, close by parentheses, minus negative 6x squared minus 7x to the third y to the second power, minus 4x, next parenthesis, oh, just subtract them, subtracting, parenthesis, 10x plus 9x squared, there we go, got it all down, all right, first thing I want to do is look at each parenthesis, can I simplify anything, okay, no I can't, there's no like terms in each set of parentheses, okay, so now I'm going to make everything be added negative and I'm going to distribute my subtraction signs throughout each parenthesis. So here, there's no negative, so we have 4x squared plus 7x to the third uh, times y squared. Distribute that minus sign plus a net, uh, plus positive 6x squared plus a positive 7x to the third y to the second. Here, plus a positive 4x. Now we distribute the next one, adding a negative 10x and then uh, adding a negative 9x squared here. So now let's go put our like terms together. So I'm kind of looking, scanning ahead, I'll just, you know, go all willy-nilly from the beginning. I see x to the third y squared, x to the third y squared, okay? And the rest of them just have different degrees of x's in them, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, 7x to the third y squared first. So we have the 7x to the third y squared, that's one of them, brought the dot down. I'm going to put the dot there, so I brought it down, plus this one here, 7x to the third uh, times y squared. These are like terms, the same type of variables multiplied there. Then the next highest degree I see really is x squared, right? I see uh, plus 4x squared there. The dot brought it down, plus 6x squared right there. Then I have a negative 9x squared plus a negative 9x squared. Then from there, I don't see any other like terms uh, or squared, so I've got an x's, I have 4x plus a 4x, and plus a negative 10x, okay? So it almost looks like it's more complicated here, nothing really simplified, but what I did is I made sure I brought everything down, let's use the dot method, let's double check, 4x squared right there, 7x to the third y squared right there, 6x squared right there, 7x to the third y squared right there, uh, the other 4x right there, or 4x right with the other, negative 10x right there, and negative 9x squared. So now I'm going to combine my like terms. 7x to the third y squared plus 7x to the third y squared is 14x to the third y squared. Then we have our combine our x squareds together. Well, 4x squared plus 6x squared is a 10x squared plus a negative 9x squared is just a positive 1x squared. Okay. Then we have 4x plus a negative 10x, and that's a negative 6x. And there we have our final answer. Nice. And neat. This whole crazy thing came down to be this 14x to the third y squared plus x squared minus 6x. So let's recap. We're given our three sets of parentheses. What I did is from there, cut my like terms together or where they were in the parentheses, and made them to be um, so subtraction and a negative and distribute the subtraction sign. From there, from there, I rewrote my like terms together and put my x to the third y squared first. I had two of them 7x to the third y squared, 7x to the third y squared. Then I want highest degrees of x's, x squared, so here's the 4x squared plus 6x squared. And then we had adding a negative 9x squared, uh, the last one. Then we added our, just our plain x's, 4x and negative 10x. I made sure using the dot method to write everything down and triple checked by uh, going over all the values, all the terms, to see if they went down. Then I combined my like terms, and it became pretty simple here. And again, I'm going to final answer of 14x to the third, y squared plus x squared minus 6x.